Well, it's been a minute since we've fired up the old Dodge. You all know this. The old pressure washer that's pretty much world renowned <laughs> from my pressure washing videos. Yeah, I want to go get the oil changed in my truck at my buddy's shop and have him winterize the pressure washer. That's the plan. The mileage is 114020 when it's due for an oil change. Let's see where I'm at right now. I'm pretty close, but it's been, I mean, literally, it's been, you know, a few years. I'll have to look that up or have them look that up to see when the last time it was when my truck was uh, in the in for an oil change. Actually, I got to connect the battery before I can even check, so let me go ahead and do that. Reconnect the terminals because. That's what I've been doing since I don't drive it much. Uh, yeah, loaded with leaves. Alright. It looks like a little bit of corrosion already built and building up on the negative terminal. So let's see. Let's see if I can get a good connection here, because yeah, it has been a a little while. So let's see what we got here. Uh, uh, well, that's good. Dumping leaves in my truck. Uh, mileage is one one three seven five four. So yeah, we're basically 250 miles, you know, 275 miles away from an oil change. So. I'm just going to go ahead and get that done, and uh, yeah, we'll uh, head to my buddy's shop, let me see if this thing will fire up. Oh yeah, yes it does, no problem. Sounding good. Oh, yeah. yeah, it still sounds real good. Still got a little under half a tank. Another reason. Oh, let me get in the truck, get the heat fired up in here. Okay. Oh, and if you can hear me over the rumble, uh, yeah, we've got a winter storm heading to the Carolinas this coming weekend. Um, yeah, it sounds like it could be rather interesting. Usually in our area, we don't get much snow, and when we do, it's mostly you know a couple inches, and people freak out about it and stuff like that. But uh, this is probably going to be a mix of. Uh, rain, basically cold rain, freezing rain, sleet, snow, and of course the ice will build up from the freezing rain, uh, which we've had a few ice storms in the past. That's normally what we get around here, and they can be devastating at times. So right now, best guess scenario is that we're somewhere around the 30% range of getting something frozen. So in situations like that, I usually don't want to drive my van because that's pretty much my daily driver but I'll drive my truck um, during inclement weather conditions just to, you know, if something happens, you know, this is the vehicle I'd rather, you know, have something, you know, happen in. Not that I want something to happen, but, you know, it's more of a, a tank compared to my minivan there. So that's the, uh, that's the deal there. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and head on to my buddy shop it'll be opening up here real soon get the pressure washer winterized back there get the oil change in my truck and uh, that'll be a vlog so I'll set up the old dash cam and you can enjoy the road trip until I get there
now this is sweet. You gonna put a V8 on this? <laughs> yeah. Zero to sixty in two seconds. <laughs> Man, when did you pick this up? Oh, is it? Oh, the yours. Oh, nice. Doing some uh, dirt track racing or just putting around the woods? Oh, cool. That'd be a cool Christmas present. Man, I wish I had a present like this. <laughs> yeah. February 16th. February 2016, so it's been almost three years. Going on three years, no kidding. It's been parked for a while, yeah. Yep. Fire up the old Dodge. Yeah, he was telling me that they don't do oil changes on Wednesdays now. I did not know that. Ball joint's still squeaky as hell. Oh yeah. Squeak, I tell you, squeak. Hmm. Looks good with those new uh, lights on them. Nice. Man, the ball joints are squeakier as ever. <laughs> yeah, I did not know you didn't do oil changes on Wednesday. I apologize. <laughs> Yeah, the old pressure washer's been in the been in the mega shed. <laughs> and you know, Karen's like, you better get that damn thing out of here. <laughs> She's turned it into a home now, in a sense, so I was like, Yeah, I'll go ahead and haul it and get it winterized and put it in the shed. So Yeah. Yeah. Get that pressure washer out the living room. You ain't no redneck no more. <laughs> well, there goes the sirens. Something's going on. Morning mayhem. Mm. Look at my new lights. I like them. Yeah, installed the those. Are good. Oh yeah, they're bright too. I like and the new I even I even put brand new factory uh, he, uh, headlights back in. Hey. I got rid of those Euros. They were pieces of crap. I shouldn't have bought those. So, yeah, man, everything lights up at night now. Nice white light. I'm sure the people oncoming don't like it, but. <laughs> you will if we get bad weather. Oh man, no kidding. Up. Yeah, that's another reason. I'm like, yeah, this will light up the road and maybe see some black ice. But, uh, yeah, only got not even 114,000 on this thing. Yeah, 113 is Yeah. So I figured, well, it's close enough for an oil change. I might as well get it done. It's long enough. Oh, yeah. After three years? Yeah, no kidding. My goodness. I knew it was a while. Mm. Yeah, it's pretty quiet this morning. Picked a good day to come on up. Yeah. <laughs> uh, is that oil or is that water coming out of there? That's the oil. That sounds like water. Yeah, it's nice and warm. Oh, okay. It's a little old. Is it old? Is it kind of thin? Yeah. Okay, so. Okay. No, it's not. It's not brown with any water mixed in. No. Good. <laughs> no. Yeah, I want to make sure I don't have any warning signs there of uh, of a head gasket issue. So. <clears throat> Is it? Yeah. Nice. No leaks or anything. Perfect. Oh, that's awesome. It's rare that I had a vehicle like that. Remember back in the day when I had you know transmission oil I and mean, the whole underside was undercoated. It probably. They'd probably survive up north and <laughs> not get cancered out with salt and yeah, rust. Yeah. Man. Yep, those are the days now I got vehicles that actually keep the fluid in them. <laughs> yeah. No, too cold now. I stopped. I was gonna try to do some, but once you know I got the new job, it was like, nah, I need to I don't have time. I really just don't have time anymore. But I'm going to try to get something going here by the spring, maybe March or April. I'll probably fire up the pressure washer and do some more vidges. Yep. Yeah, some of it blew off. There was a lot more on there. 
<laughs> this thing was covered. <laughs> I right, popped it. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. That's where you get your fresh air from. Your heat from yeah. Oh, okay. That might freeze it over and lock you off. Oh, yeah, we don't need that. Your old hitting the fan. Oh, is that what that is? <laughs> wow. Going down through the drain tubes? Yeah. Well, I was probably happy to get some fresh oil in it. Who knows when I'll be back for another oil change <laughs> for this one. No. Man. Yeah, the old 5.9's been doing fine. Still got less than half a tank in it. I think I'll be all right for a while with it. That one tank of gas, I think, what was it? I didn't, uh, I didn't fill it. Last time I filled it was last year. I mean, it's been that long. It's been sitting, and then I finally got rid of that gas that had been sitting for so long, and put a put a fresh tank in. It was right around when the hurricane came through. Now I still got half a tank from that. <laughs> so, <laughs> yep. Cool. Yeah, when I opened last time, I opened that thing up. It was kind of. I can smell it. Yeah, can you? Yeah. Red, red stuff. It won't change the... yeah, okay. At least I have some in here. Yeah, that'll work. I hate for this bottle to get cold and freeze. Yeah. Oh man. <laughs> yeah, that wouldn't be good. Cool. Well, thank you very much. Uh, no, I haven't actually. I've not checked the oil. I've, I've neglected it. <laughs> I've used it. It's run, been running fine and, and all that. So. Mm. Oh, it's on the back side? Oh, okay. Been a while since I checked it. Still looks really good. Let me get the All right. It's good. Cool. Still looks it nice looks and good too, yeah. okay. Nice and clean. Mm -hmm. Gold. All right. Perfect. Yeah, I tried to take care of it. It's got a little bit of mud from you know, pressure washing the sidewalks. Yeah. But. Oh, it's the same motor on the go kart? Oh, wow. It's the same design. Is that some Briggs and Stratton? This one right here? This, this is a Kohler. That's a Kohler. That's right. This is Kohler. actually a clone of a Honda motor. Oh, okay. Everybody just, cloned it because it's so great. Yeah, just half the price of a Honda. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you pay for that, oh, that yeah. Honda motor. That's why I passed, up, passed by the pressure washer they had for a Honda. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. Kohler Series. Oh, it's an oddball size. Oh, okay. Of course, a water pump, I guess. I don't know if there's any water in there, or would that be an issue? There shouldn't be any in there. You got them both wide open. Yep. That's good. Yeah, I kept it kept it busy. I know in the spring, boy, I was doing all sorts of pressure washing. Yeah. Yeah, it's off.
Hmm. Are they? Okay. We put the new one on that. Weekend. Yeah. First time I put it on there. Out of okay. the box, all we did was put gas in it. Really? Had oil and everything in it? Yeah, we had to put oil in it. Oh, you did? Uh, okay. Just pull the engine real slow like we just did. Okay. And turned on the fuel. Um, Fired right up. Just like that. I was like, <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> wow. That's cool getting a crate motor like that to run. Yeah, I mean, it just cranked. It was like, poof. It was running. It was like, jeez. Got your mouth. Yeah, it's my oh, camera so mount. One, yep, just mount the camera to it, and people watch, you know, the videos while I'm fresh watching. Place for it to be. Yep, it's about the only place I could find. You know, every place else was like I couldn't get a good shot at, on a tripod or whatever. So. Okay. Yeah, I try to keep water away from this thing, but yeah, the mud splashed up on it earlier in the year. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Nice. Oh, that's great. Oh, yeah. They're definitely handy. Yeah, this is the old concrete nozzle that thing i'll tell you what it works wonders on not well actually uh that it, one that you twist? yeah and it does a spiral like the oscillating tip yeah oh, usually yeah yeah it, yeah. it rotates yeah, yeah. i don't know what the, i was looking for yeah i couldn't think i don't know what the rpms are but man it's <laughs> it's uh yeah one side doesn't last right i don't it hadn't done that yeah it's so close but it just can't seem to do it but cool, man. What I owe you? Seventy nine ninety five. That's good, man. Cool. So you got all your tips. Yep, all four of them. Well, plus the one I bought that oscillating tip separate. Yeah, those things could be pricey. Yeah, that was actually forty dollars just for that oh, tip. I yeah, I was I'll like. I'm higher than that. Yep. I'll so. Like $80 or $80. Oh yeah, yeah, definitely. <laughs> Low side though. <laughs> yeah. Man. Yeah, still sounds great. Cool. <laughs> yeah, back it on out of here. Cool, now that's done. Oh man, that's annoying. <laughs> All right, yeah, total bill not bad, 25.48 compared to my Sienna, which takes an extra quart of oil. Um, yeah, and veteran discount and all that stuff. So, and uh, yeah, still hanging out with my buddy, you know, here. Talking to them off camera, yeah, they're they're shorthanded on mechanics. The the one guy um, that was up here before, yeah, he left to go be a sheriff. So yeah, he's going to be a county sheriff. And they've interviewed mechanics, and apparently they don't have the qualifications like they said they did. And yeah, it's just him now. He's pretty much running running the shop. So I didn't want to hold him up. He's already got like two or three cars lined up. So yeah, that was cool. So now that's done pressure washer is winterized so I'll put it back probably in my shed to get it out of the mega shed and uh, yeah we'll just go on home so enjoy the road trip